Today we are going to talk about how much you should be spending on your modular kitchen. Now it's a very dicey question how to take out a budget of a certain part of your house uh, while you are constructing. Considering that it is the health center of the house and the most amount of labor activities the house happens in this area, uh, it requires considerable amount of attention that needs to be given. Also, to make sure that the person who is doing all the prepping and the cooking for the entire house and is making the meal for the entire family throughout the day, uh, we require that the structure of the kitchen is of a highly durable as well as the quality of hardware is pretty high and the appliances are also of great quality. This will ensure that the kitchen lasts for you a lifetime as well as it provides an ease of work to anybody who's working in the kitchen. This is an essential part because of the high amount of activity that happens in this area. There is no major flaw in your kitchen design. Otherwise, the overall activity may increase quite a bit. You need to make sure that your storage and your water and your cooking are well aligned together. One should think of spending approximately 50% of uh, their automobile's value uh, on a kitchen at least. Uh, it's a good reference point because a person is spending three to four hours in the kitchen and a person is driving also, I believe three to four hours on an average every day, some may be high, some may be less. And keeping that into the mind frame, uh, one can actually figure out that uh, a kitchen should is worth spending a good penny on. It is probably going to last you much more uh, than your car and uh, it actually has a lot more activity going on. So how do you bifurcate the budget? So once you've decided, let's say you've decided for 2 lakh rupees of a budget for your modular kitchen. So now when you keep on bifurcating it, you'll end up with the 3 to 4 components, which is basically the box the hardware, the finishes and the appliances. The box is the basic structure. Uh, it needs to be of highly durable material. We generally suggest uh, waterproof plywood or good quality plywood. And it needs to have a waterproof material on the back of it which touches the wall. This kind of a structure ensures that uh, your modular kitchen has a good life preferably around a life of 8 to 10 years. Uh, make sure that any hardware that goes onto it intact and pretty functionable for a long period of time because plywood has a great screw holding capacity for making sure that all the hardwares work well. One should make sure that the sink area is definitely of a waterproof material, maybe even aluminium box or aluminium line materials. Uh, that is what we guys use generally and uh, that ensures that uh, any kind of water trouble stays away. This structure might cost you around 70 to 80,000. It might even go up to uh, a lakh depending upon your design. Next, we generally go to sh hardware. That is the area which is very essential, which makes sure that there is ease of work for anybody who's working in the kitchen. It makes sure that the heavy items have the right hardware so that uh, it can be easily pulled out uh, without a lot of force, without a lot of effort, as well as uh, corner storages, which are very hard to access and generally become dead storages, uh, are utilized well. And when one is cooking, a lot of the spices and small appliances are also stored in a way which are handy and easy to access rather than getting them from a drawer below or a cabinet above. Mart investment to make sure that uh, you have great hardware in a good design kitchen. Uh, it's going to save you a lot of effort, a lot of time and maybe even provide you with a better health. So the next part we are going to discuss is the outer finish which is the shutters of a modular kitchen. Uh, we have a variety of finishes and uh, one can choose more from their style and taste perspective on this. The outer finishes generally do not provide a lot of different kinds of ease. Uh, so they are more over there for an aesthetic factor. 
uh, one can choose some of their designs and handles in a way so that it is more easier to clean and maybe more comfortable to them to access the shutters and the storage uh, behind it better. The last part we are going to discuss is the appliances. Appliances need to be selected in a very smart way and one should understand what are the various advantages and disadvantages of uh, small aspects uh, of these appliances. That is why it is better that you go to a designer for most of these queries and they actually make sure that uh, they understand your needs, your preferences of how you use and utilize your kitchen on a daily basis and they provide you with a decent solution uh, for your sink sizes, for the suction capacity of your chimney and for the power of your hobs. All in all, say if your budget is of 2 lakh, you should be spending approximately 80,000 on your boxes, around 30,000 on your hardware and 30,000 again on shutters and outer finishes and the rest which is approximately 25 to 30,000 more. Uh, should be spent upon appliances. One can pick and choose a bit here and there and these costs varies from design to design, the kind of finishes that one would might and some people might want to have a higher end uh, outer finish while some would actually prefer to have better hardware and more number of hardwares. And uh, that is another reason why one should consider the designer. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Uh, you can like, share and send this information to more people who are maybe making a house and they might find it useful.